Hi guys, welcome to the Abdu special. I've collected to this video a few different Abdu hairstyles throughout the years to inspire you for Christmas, holiday, ball, prom hairstyles. There's many different variations, so hopefully you'll find something you prefer. tutorial I will show you how to create this easy and quick updo hairstyle. First, you need to take small sections of hair from the both sides of your hair and tie them together on back with an elastic. Take this hair section and flip it around once like this. Then pull the hair out to create more volume. Then create another twist like this. Take the hair from both sides and secure that with an elastic. This time I create the twist a little bit on side so they won't look like they would be one braid. For the third twist, I take some hair between the two before and from the another side. Place a twist again so it won't be directly below two others. Flip hair through and pancake the edges. Next I will create the fistel braid of the rest of my hair. So separate the hair in two and first take a small section from the right side Bring it over and add to the left section. Next, take a smaller hair section from the left side, bring it over and add to the right section. Take the small piece from the right side, bring it over and add to the left section. Take a piece from the left, bring it over and add to the right section. Take a piece from the right, bring it over and add to the left section. Take a section from the left, bring it over and add to the right. Keep on repeating this pattern. This braid doesn't need to be tight and neat, and you can pancake the braid also if you like. The more bigger braid you have, the more bigger the updo will be. So if you want some volume for the final result, pancake the braid. Now there's a very loose fistel braid. Take the fistel braid and pull the end through the place where you started the fistel braid. Create the roll shape and secure the shape with the puppy pins. Next, take the end of the fistel braid and create the similar shape besides of the bigger one. Secure this also with puppy pins. And here's the final result. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Hi. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create this super easy 3 minutes updo. 
This hairstyle doesn't require braiding, so it's great for those who cannot braid at all as well. Beginning the creating the hairstyle by taking section of hair from the left side of your head. Secure the section with an elastic. Then repeat the same to the right side. Take a section of hair and put them together with an elastic. Next, take another section, put your fingers through the hair above the elastic and then slip the end of the hair through that loop. Pancake the edges to get some more volume for this hairstyle. Just pinch the small amount of hair and pull it out of the elastic. Repeat the same through the another section of hair. Put your fingers through the hair above the elastic and slip the end of the hair through that loop. Then pancake the edges. Next, take the rest of your hair and put them together with an elastic. If you want, you can leave on this point some accent hair from both sides of your head. Then place the another elastic below the first one. Leave between the elastics about 10 cm. Split the section with your fingers and slip the end of the hair through that loop. Then pancake the edges from the both sides. Next, I will pinch the first and the second French twist together with the puppy pin. Just simply pull the puppy pin through the bold elastics. Next, take a third twist and the last elastic and secure that with puppy pin on the same place where you pinch it two twists together. So at the end, all the twists merge on the same place. Next, I use the elastic that stays under the bun to secure the end of the hair. Take a small section of hair, slip it through the elastic to create a simple loop. Repeat again. Take elastic and slip the end of the hair through the elastic to creating a loop. You can spread the loops to create more volume for the updo. Secure the loops on the place where you like to with bobby pins. Then all you need to do is curl your accent hair and add some flowers. After that, you are ready to go in any parties. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day. Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this easy updo hairstyle with twist style braids. This is super easy hairstyle and great for beginners or if you need to go to the party with the busy. First, just take a bubble. If you want to leave some accent hair out of this updo, you must leave them on the beginning. Then create the ponytail on the place you want your updo. I use some water so I can make my hair look very neat and sleek.
Next, I will create the flip through the ponytail using a topsy tail tool. Next, separate the hairpiece in two sections. Put the another away and start the braid to another. Take small sections from the side and bring them from side under to the another strand, creating a Dutch pistol braid. If it's easier to you create a French braid, you can do it as well. It doesn't matter because we don't add hair into this hairstyle. So just take a small section from side and bring it to the another side. Then small section from the another and bring it to the opposite side of the braid. Continue the braiding like this until the end of the hair. If you want some volume for your hairstyle, you can also pancake the edges of the pistol braid when you get a little bit bigger braids and the updo as well. Next, I will show how I hide the ends of the hair by creating the loop in the end of the braid. In this way, you can make sure that you can get all the hair inside the updo. Next, take the another half of the hair and create a second pistol braid into that section. Separate the half in two and start the braid. Take a small section from side Bring it under and add to the another half. Take a small section and bring it to the another side. Then again from right under to the left. And a small section from left to the right. Right to the left and left to the right. Keep on repeating this pattern and create this braid as you did on the first one. Next, I will create the updo using these two fistel braids. Take a first braid and push it through the updo. Then repeat the same with another fistel braid. As you did the flip on the beginning, it's easy to push fistel braids through. If your hair is shorter than mine, you cannot spin them around two times like I do on this. After the one round, I take puppy pins and stick the braids under the updo. So if your hair isn't enough long, you can do only this second step. So first spin off and only puppy pins stick braids under the updo. Next I will use this beautiful hairpiece from Johnny Loves Rosie. It's easy to stick on my updo in this way. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it and I will see you soon again.
Have a lovely day. Hi. In this video, I will show you how to create this classic apodo hairstyle with braided headband. I start by creating the part lines for this hairstyle. First, I create the very side part line and then I continue by creating the headband parting on front. Then I use some water to my hair before braiding. I start by three strands of hair. I start to bring them on side under to the middle and this time I add hair only from the front so it's from the left side. Then I bring right under, left under and add hair again from the front. Right under left under, add hair again right under, left under, add hair right under, left under, add hair right under, left under, add hair Keep on repeating this pattern until you braided the whole section into this braid. If you want to leave some accent hair, which you can curl later, I suggest you to leave hair before you finish the braid. Then just continue the braiding until the braid reaches on the place where you want your updo. Next, I create more headband braids. First, you need the section you will bring over the starting points, and then two sections for the braids. I've created the first braid already. Now I show you how I create a headband braid like this. You need three strands and then just start simply braid regular three strand braid. And that's it, it's nothing more special. But when you start, be sure that all the strands are super equal of each other's, cause if they ain't, the braid won't carry on from the side to side. Only tricky part of this braid is that it's very common that flyaways will stick inside the braid and then you cannot move the braid as you would like. So make sure that while you're braiding the flyaways won't stick inside the braid and control how you can shape it. Next, I will create the ponytail on the place where I want the updo. Add also the braids inside the ponytail. Next, I add the donut on the base of the updo. Take about a quarter of the hair and make a loop like this around the donut. Then use the elastic to secure the shape. And after that, spread the hair around the donut to cover it. Braids doesn't matter at this point. Actually, they are easier to stick the hair later. I also use the bobby pins to secure the donut on its place. Next, I take the one strand at a time and twist it around like this. Then I bring it up and secure with puppy pin. Then I pancake the twist using my fingers. Next, I repeat the pattern. Take yet another strand, twist. 
spring up and secure with the puppy pin. Then pancake and start again. Take a strand, twist, bring up, secure with puppy pin and pancake the twist. Keep on repeating the pattern. Keep on covering the updo like this until you brought all the hair from down to up. Then it should be look like this. Now I take yet strand of hair, twist and now I bring the strand down. Pancake a little bit and stick here with the puppy pin. Take another strand, twist, bring down, pancake, and secure. Do this for all of the hair on up until all hair is covered inside the updo. Next I will finish this updo using the hair chevel from the Johnny Loves Rosie. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you like it. Have a great day. Hi guys, in this video I will show you how to create this formal fistel braid updo. Beginning by taking the small section of hair from the back, tie it with the elastic, flip the hair through like this and pancake the itches. Then take some hair from side and bring it through the stitch like this. Then do the same from the another side. Next I take some hair from the both sides of the first stitch and I tie the hair together with an elastic. Flip and pancake the itches. Then take again some more hair from both sides and slip them inside. Repeat the pattern again. Take some hair from the both sides, tie them together, flip 
and pancaked edges. Then bring new hair from both sides. Next, I beginning the fistel braid, and for that, I take the piece of hair from the back, separate the piece in two, and start the braid, bringing strands from side over to the another side, over to the another side, over to the another side. over to the another side keep on repeating To create the big and effective abdu, I suggest you to pancake the edges of the braid so there will be much more volume and the strands are not look that much just the fistel braid, they look more like they would be curled and just secured with pins. Then just continue braiding like this until the end of the hair. Next, I will push up the braid. So, take a super small piece and hold it tight, and then slide up all the rest of the hair, and then shape it as the abdu. The most important thing is that you secure the end of the braid very well because otherwise it will undo. And here's the final result of this hairstyle. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked, please hit the thumbs up for this video.